Hello, I'm Grady Edwards, a Digital Integration Specialist with Horry County Schools, and today we will be exploring Google Slides and actually diving deeper into Google Slides. Google Slides is part of the G Suite or the Google Apps uh, that is pretty familiar here in Horry County. If you are a novice with Google Slides or you're just getting started with Google Slides, I suggest first viewing the video titled Getting Started with Google Slides, that, which can be found within our YouTube channel pages. This video primarily will focus on some of the more advanced features and a couple of things you can add to really spice up your Google Slides. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, give us feedback by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Before we talk about some of the design features and some of the other elements you can use within Google Slides, I'd really like to take a look at this present mode up here in the top of right hand corner. When you hit present, or this little drop down next to present rather, you can see an option to see prevent presenter view. A really cool option within Google Slides is if you click that presenter view, you can um, obviously look at your speaker notes um, if you have any, but you can also go to this audience tools you can um, create sort of a back channel um, for your students to post questions or, um, or ask questions. Um, and to do that, all you have to do is just simple by clicking Start New. Now you'll see here that your students, if they go to this um, listed domain, uh, they can go ahead and post any of their questions to the, um, the Google Slide channel. So, um, if they post a question here, they can either ask as their name or their whatever they have their email addresses that's in, or they can ask uh, anonymously. So, and it limits the response to 300 characters. So it's a nice way for students to, without interrupting class or having to hold up class, to ask uh, questions um, to this to this back channel. But if we go back to our, and then once we go back to our slide, you'll see here that on your actual slide, it'll, at the top, you'll have this banner that says, ask a question at the, the site uh, to do so. So pretty neat little feature there uh, that may be useful to you. I'd also like to take a look at the explore feature. So let's say, for example, I really wanted to add some design elements to this slide. Now, the nice thing about this explore is you or your students have access right to this explore option page. This will, one, just by clicking, you'll see some different options for layouts, different options for themes. And depending on what slide type you choose, that'll depend on what um, layout um, is selected there for you. So a couple cool, pretty options uh, in that. Um, regard. So let's say I like that layout. Also, the explore feature from a design standpoint, if you're adding any images, so let's say I want to search the web for images, let's type in Christmas. Let's say I want to add this image and this image. I can do so simply by clicking and inserting. Now I've put those two images into my slide. If I go to this explore option, It'll give me a couple different templates already pre-made um, for me to choose from. So again, from a design standpoint, that Explore feature is something I really recommend uh, checking out. In addition to the Explore feature, I would um, hugely recommend the use of add-ons. Add-ons is actually a fairly recent um, kind of installment to the Google Slide um, options. Now, Google Docs and Google Sheets have had add-ons for quite some time, but there's a couple of cool, interesting options you can do right within Google Slides with add-ons. To get an add-on, you go to Add-ons, go to Get Add-ons, and you'll see all the options um, listed here for you. Now, some of these you may find um, more useful than others. They are always continually adding add-ons, which is a pretty nice feature too, and this is something your kids uh, can have access to um, as well. Um, and a couple of these add-ons, for example, if I go to add-ons and I'll do icons by noun project, you see here it's basically um, gives me these options to, to play with these icons and do what I want to do, and that's just an add-on. It's a lot like plugins to video editors. Um, so it's a pretty cool little feature there. If any of you are really interested in Nearpod um, or a Nearpod like program, I would hugely recommend checking out this option called Pear Deck. The nice thing about Pear Deck is it's very much like Nearpod, works really, really well with Google Slides, and it will allow you to add Pear Deck-esque interactive slides or engaging slides right to pre-existing Google Slides. And you can just, um, you can just uh, release the, 
release the slides through Pear Deck and play it through Pear Deck, which is a pretty cool option. So if you're interested in that, I would hugely recommend taking a look at Pear Deck and some of the options you have for your students there. Um, like I said, very much like Nearpod. Additionally, something I'd, I'd recommend taking a look at if you're into um, creating Google Slides and you like some of the more design features, check out Slide Carnival. Slide Carnival is a free um, PowerPoint and Google Slide theme um, website. Uh, very easy to do. Let's say I like this Halloween presentation. I can click this here, scroll down, use this Google Slides theme. It'll automatically make as a copy. And you'll see that now, once I hit make a copy, you'll see that copy of that slide is automatically in and I have full editing rights to do whatever um, I need to do. The nice thing is you can edit whatever you want and it'll, um, it'll keep the, um, the same credentials, which is, which is pretty cool. So if you're interested in any of that and if you're interested in spicing up your Google Slide, I really check out, would recommend checking out Slide uh, Carnival, pretty neat little um, website. And lastly, I'm not going to take the time to go really in depth with it right now, but if any of you are interested in creating animations or making your some of your uh, stuff within your Google Slides clickable or student paste, I'd really check out this um, insert animations. Um, there's a couple of cool different things there you can do with links and, and hyperlinks and going to different pages uh, and things of that nature. So if you're interested in that, uh, please check it out. I'd like to thank you for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description.